My story begins when after my assault, I went to the closest emergency room and was turned away because they didn't do rape kits there. And what this bill does is start to address this problem here in Washington. Leah Griffin has turned her past trauma into raising awareness to help others, fighting for legislation like this new bill, a first step to increasing access in the state to special sexual assault nurse examiners, known as SANE nurses. A big part of our job is to collect the forensic evidence and to correctly package it, correctly store it, and then correctly transfer it to law enforcement to make sure that if a patient wants to move forward with a legal investigation, we've done everything to preserve that option for them. That makes the difference between being able to seek justice or never seeking justice. Correct, it can be a big part of that. Terry Stewart coordinates the SANE nurse program at Harborview, as well as medical training around the state. She says while Washington is better off than a number of other states, not every neighborhood has access. There are still communities that don't have sexual assault nurses there um, in their hospitals, which means driving a distance if you're in a rural area. Um, even here in King County, not every hospital is able to offer sexual assault services. That includes a 15-step rape kit. We do a lot of swabs from all sorts of parts of the body depending on the circumstances of the assault. A process that requires both technical skills and sensitivity, making sure patients aren't re-traumatized while critical evidence is collected. In my ideal world, we would have 24-hour access to say nurses at every hospital in the state. We just need more nurses. So we need nurses to stand up and, and get that training, to, to put themselves out there and be willing to be this person. While this legislation identifies the need and seeks to expand training, nurses Nurse Terry Stewart says continued funding and support are what's ultimately needed. It's not cheap to, to run a training. It's not cheap to travel to the other side of the state. We also need hospitals to, to really take this seriously and make it their priority. And Stewart also points out that a one-time training may not be enough since this is a technical science forensics work and science that's constantly evolving. Now, if you want to know which hospitals in your community have access to these nurses or sexual assault medical exams, we've linked a special website with resources for victims. It's called wasafe.org on our website, king5.com.